Hello guys and welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Today we're going to do shrimp versus zucchini but first if you're new to the channel and want to learn more about shrimp keeping hit that subscribe button over here so you don't miss anything and the bell notification over here as well okay so let's get right into this. Today is going to be shrimp versus zucchini and uh, we have a nice yellow one here which I'm going to dehydrate this as well and we're going to chop it up. We're going to feed it in two different ways let me see if I can put you down here while we chop this up. Alright, so we're going to chop this up. We're going to put a couple of thin bits. This is out my garden, so this is organic. Right, and uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to do one single bit from my tank that you will see. And then the rest of the parts, we're going to cut a little bit thick because this is going to be dehydrated, which means I'll be able to use it later. I can store it and then use it later because zucchini is seasonal and right now we have an abundance of it in the garden of course you get different types as well, you get the green ones, the yellow ones I've seen, I think I've seen orange ones as well you can also do the same thing with pumpkins alright, you can also use the flowers if you have ever see the flowers on the end of the zucchini you can actually dry them as well and use them for like a treat so what we're going to do first is we're going to put our little zucchini slices onto our tray, our drying tray like this. Just quickly do it. Then we're going to put one little bit into the tank. And then we're going to put one bit that has already been dehydrated into the tank as well. So I'm going to use just a little bit here because this is quite big. It's big when it's so uh, full of moisture, so I'm going to use a bit like this size. And the rest we can dehydrate, okay? So let me pull you up here and I'm going to show you my dehydrator. Oh. Nearly dropped it. I'm going to put the lid on. This is just your bog standard dehydrator that you can get out of uh, stores. Uh, anyone in Norway, they got this from Eula. It's set to 70 degrees and it's the highest. Um, and this will take probably until tomorrow, 24 hours at least before this is ready for us to use and store. So let's turn it on. There you go. This will get quite warm in here. As I said, it'll go up to 70 degrees. So let's feed a piece of the raw stuff to the shrimp. I put two pieces in. You'll see the next part I'm going to do in a second. And what do you think guys? Sink or float before I put this in? And it floats, it's quite surprising. Okay, anyway, over here I have some previously dried stuff. And this is from a green zucchini. What do you think of this stuff? Sink or float? Let's see. If I can reach my wee short arms. Sink or float? Sink? There's something quite cool. Where did I go? Way over here, right? So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to stick the music on. You're going to listen to some music. I'll put the camera here in micro mode so you can see it. In micro mode. In macro mode so you can see it a little bit more clearly because it's kind of hard to see in this mode. All right, and I'll be back to talk about the results in a minute. One moment, all.
let's see how did they fare, did they like the zucchini or not? I think that speaks for itself. I think they really enjoy it actually. I was surprised that they went all, all over this like they have done. I'm trying to see just at the corner of my eye if I can see the other piece of zucchini anywhere uh, still here see it floating. Not a shrimp on it. So dried, dried zucchini works a treat. So I think you guys should give it a try. I think I, I just saw a really nice uh, ruby red extreme here a few seconds ago before I put the camera on and of course I can't see it now because uh, I want to film it can't see it at all so anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions at all if you've enjoyed today's video and how you can make zucchini chips just like this for your shrimp they will absolutely love it leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll catch you all the next time and don't forget guys leave me a big huge thumbs up okay love you all happy shrimp keeping bye